Okay, this is the part that blows my mind when you come to Lander Haven, you come to a wedding, they've got like 300 guests, 300 dinners, they all come out, they're all delicious, they're all wonderful, it's because of guys like this. Here's Dave, he's a chef in here, he's got Chad helping him, he's got Anthony helping him, and uh, you're slicing and dicing, aren't you, David? We're, we're trying to do a uh, baby lamb rack right now, as well as uh, what we call a jade blend rice. It's a nice, healthy rice for people. So that's got grain and rice in it. It has uh, it has two types of rice, wheat berries, daikon radish seed. It's a nice blend, has a nutty flavor to it as well. Speaking of nutty, you must get nutty trying to put together meals for hundreds of people all at one time. I mean, how does a man do that? It, well, it's a team effort, and people like my assistant today, Anthony, that's what makes this work. Uh, if, if we don't have everybody working together, David, it just doesn't work in here. I would guess, too, with the Food Network and all this emphasis on food, people might be getting a little more sophisticated about what they want and what they order. You know, I don't know if they are or not. I think people... Some people watch that stuff and think we could do everything that's on the Food Network. I think some people like the old days where it's just nice and simple, the KISS method. Yeah. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. And I think some people like trendy, healthy things as well. You know, so, we do forget about the old standards that are delicious and fabulous, trying to get fancy. So you can get too fancy and uh, mess the whole deal up, right? No. Oh, absolutely, David. So what's he doing with the Julian vegetables? Anthony's making something we call vegetable capellini. Again, it's more healthy healthful thing, a little olive oil, a little salt, there's some yellow squash, green zucchini, and carrots. It looks beautiful on the plate, and it's healthy as well. You know, it's interesting because, you know, I've talked to Charles, I've talked to, to Michael, and everything is about beauty, and the, I know the food's got to taste good, but it's got to look good too, right? Excuse me, I'm going to set this right here, David. Look at you go, my brother. So that's the baby rack of in there. Yes, sir. So how popular is lamb these days? Uh, lamb, I, we serve it more for an hors d'oeuvre, usually the baby lamb. Oh, so you make it like little lollipops. Exactly, yes, and people like that. But it comes in nice for a dinner, too. Let me just grab a knife real quick. I love coming into a kitchen. I love chaos. But you've got this chaos organized, don't you? Well, I mean, some days it's a little crazy, and other days it works pretty well. So uh, today is sort of a slow day for us, so it's working very nice. Hey, when somebody comes in here with some crazy, uh, not crazy, but say their culture requires a different kind of food than you're used to making, you have to go out, you have to do some research on it, try and figure out how, how to do it. We have a whole array of, uh, of recipe books, and you know, some things I'm good at, some things Anthony has strengths in that helps me, so again, we work together and it works out all right. We're going to put some of this healthy blend rice on the plate. Oh, is that pretty? I like that. With the confetti vegetables for some color. See, words like that just make the food taste better. Confetti vegetables. Doesn't that sound pretty? Then we'll shingle some of these lamb chops on. Shingle right. them on, that's right. Right like so. And we'll sauce that up. Anthony has our spaghetti, that, the capellini that we're going to do right now. Thanks, Anthony. So what are you going to use? Put a stock there? Oh, that's your redu it's, reduction? It's actually some of the marinade that we marinated it in. And we're not going to use a lot because we don't want to overdo it. The lamb chops, since they were marinated, they should have a nice Boy, they flavor already. Boy, smell terrific. And yeah. you've got some rosemary in there, huh? Some rosemary, some thyme, David. There's some sherry in here. Woo! Some garlic. Uh, Makes me want to get married yeah, again. That's good. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, this right here, David. I'm sorry. I'm oh, you're good. Sheet over here, Aunt See, that's what I like. The kitchen's working. You see that? Yeah. No, we're doing good. This is one of those things where the Food Network stars are dancing around with everything perfect. It's hard work, right? Yeah. Look no, at that. Yeah, it looks nice. It'll be nice and healthy for those people who want healthy, and it will be nice and colorful, and it's a nice, a nice plate presentation. I'm just going to throw a little parsley on here, and we're all set to... And he's not finished yet. And we're good to roll. So look at that. How many nice different dishes right do you put up? Like standard dishes. Do you have a hundred of them you can make, or fifty of them? We or? can make. If you came in here, we can make anything you want virtually. Uh, but uh, yeah, we do have standard things. We have a huge thick menu, but uh, we do we do anything you want. Can you cook for four? We can cook for four people. I live over on Richmond Road. Can you go home over? <laughs> if the price is right, we could do it for one person. <laughs> <It is>. so. <laughs> you gotta love yeah. that.